Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. If you had any doubt that Microsoft would be rolling out a feature update for Windows 11 later this year, then just to let you know that Microsoft has indeed confirmed now in a recent announcement that they will be rolling out a feature update for Windows 11 in the second half of this year. Now, before we get into that announcement, just to do a quick recap and overview for the purpose of today's video, just to keep you up to date. Now, as previously posted, Microsoft announced back in 2021, um, and that was that announcement was made just before the um, original release of Windows 11 version 21H2, that they would start releasing new major Windows versions every three years. Now, the first feature update for Windows 11 was version 22H2, which rolled out last year in September and or October of 2022, version 22H2, as many of you would know by now. And that also applied to Windows 10. And then Microsoft also announced that they would be rolling out more frequent feature updates for Windows several times per year. Now, those um, more frequent feature updates are referred to as moment updates. And we already received our moment one update for Windows 11 22H2 back in October of last year. And we have recently received moment two, KB5022913, on the 28th of February or 1st of March, depending on your region, which brought the second wave of new features. And we are expecting moment three, although not confirmed by Microsoft, moment three to be rolling out in May and or June of this year, 2023. And then and beyond that, now as recently announced by Microsoft, getting version 23H2, also codenamed Sun Valley 3, in the second half of this year. Now, when it comes to next year, 2024, um, at this stage, we are expecting to get a Windows 12, although not confirmed by Microsoft. Now, we could be getting Windows 11 version 24H2 as the annual feature update rolling out in 2024. Or, as I have posted numerously on this channel, and you can just do a search for Windows 12, you'll get a lot of content. We could expect to see Microsoft release a whole new Windows operating system referred to as Windows 12. And although not confirmed by Microsoft, that's how I personally feel they are going to go in, in 2024. And we will get Windows 12 released in, instead of Windows 11 version 24H2. Now, getting back to Windows 11 version 23H2, that will be the second feature update. And um, this has been confirmed by Microsoft in a recent blog post published on the 28th of February this year, 2023. And I'm quoting this. Microsoft says, Windows 11 will continue to have an annual feature update cadence with a new version released in the second half of the calendar year. So as mentioned, we have already received Windows 11 22H2, which means in the second half of this year, possibly in September and or October, uh, depending on your region, in my region in the south, that would be spring. And in your, if you are in the north in your region, that would be fall. And uh, um, that means that that version will be upgraded to version 23H2. And just on a side note, feature updates are the only updates that increase the version of the operating system. And that applies to both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Moment updates and cumulative updates only update and upgrade the build. Feature updates are the only updates that increase the version from 22H2 as an example to 23H2. And the 23 in the H2 stands for the year. The update rolls out and the H2 means it's rolling out in the second half of the year in case you're unaware. So that basically clears up any confusion if we were getting a feature update for Windows 11 later this year. Now with that out the way, um, Microsoft has also said that Feature update releases are tied to a support life cycle, which means 24 months of support for home and pro editions and 36 months of support for enterprise and education editions. So if we just head over uh, to the Windows 11 current versions uh, page over in Microsoft Docs, here we can see servicing channels. Version 21H2 rolled out originally on the 4th of October 2021, depending on your region. I think I got that on the 5th. And this is when the end of servicing will happen, the 10th of October this year, 2023, for Windows 11 version 21H2. And for um, Enterprise and Education, that would be the 8th of October, 2024. And as we can see for uh, the current version, 22H2, which was originally released on the 20th of September last year, end of life 
the 8th of October 2024 and for Enterprise and Education um, the 14th of October 2025. So that gives um, 24 months of support for Home and Pro and 36 months of support for Enterprise and Education editions. So as mentioned, 23H2, codename Sun Valley 3, will be running out for Windows 11 later on this year. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.